Right, let's let's get into it. We've prolonged it for long enough. Let's get into it, and that is raw. Disclaimer: Monday, it was trash. Man. Disclaimer: it was trash. Let's make it the quickest one ever. Um, the bit, <laughs> yeah. I want to come like back a fucking to, house show. I want to come back to this. Um, Vince McMahon doesn't know what he's doing. Um, he very it was very evident in the ring. He was like. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? Um, absolute cretin. And the then going, oh, we're going to make a wild card rule. What? Can you explain it for me, please, Vince? Or Why is it a brainchild that has just come out within the last 30 and, seconds? And he said, and the wild card rule is this. We can have three men from SmackDown going to Raw. Or we can have three men from SmackDown going to SmackDown. Yes. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> good, good you know what, what I mean. Yeah. It's just... It, I, I'm starting to get the impression now that, as I mean, as I said before, it, it's very much because to me it's becoming apparent that he really is losing touch with it now. He's really losing touch what, with the, what is popular. The first thing I thought was like, this is just a get out of jail free card for the writers because they've got rid of the rematch clauses. Yeah, yeah. They needed something to help the writers out, so they've just done this. What I was touching on earlier, um, what was it? What was I going to say? Oh yeah, they. They, they they didn't explain it whatsoever. So Vince said that they'll be invited. AJ yeah. said it would be crashing, like crashing the other brand. The Roman Uso said, "Oh, the Uso said, oh Roman runs the yard, so he said they can, we can come through at any time. So it, who's inviting people? Roman Don't inviting people? Is Vince not. is Vince inviting people? This, is, this, this um, screams of being written at seven o'clock in the evening about an hour before it go an hour before the show starts." First, of, first yeah. of all, it was three people, and then four people, and then because oh, of Lars Sullivan on four, it was five people, but then on SmackDown, there were six people. And the commentators oh. weren't doing their job of explaining what was happening, like... Because oh, even Vince, they don't know! Vince yeah. McMahon has invited these lots to come over. It's like, just say, say it how it is. Like, it might be shit, but at least try and make something good out of it. Whereas at the moment, they're like... What's he doing here? He's on Monday Night Raw. Oh, did, like, you hear, did you hear Michael Cole when Roman he's Reigns' the music here? Guy. Oh no, my god, he, he ejaculated at the big he, dog, didn't he? he? He literally said, Welcome to Monday Night Yard. Yes, and it was did. all fucking yes, downhill from there. Yes, we got welcome to Monday Night Yard. Oh, and, god, I forgot oh, that. oh bless him. Yeah, I only said when when Jack mentioned the yard, I was, it just hit me and I was like, oh fuck, I'd, re I'd remove that from my memory. He did a big dog that was, that was borderline ejaculate, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, well. he did. Yeah, oh, a big dog! It's just when you, yeah, it's just when you wake up on a because obviously I don't stay up because I I I have work and I wake up and my early morning routine is have a have a massive poo while reading Bleacher Report. And literally, when I read it, I went, "You what? <laughs> uh, you what? Yeah. Even my poo decided to come back into my own body." Oh, smooth man. <laughs> Thanks. Nope. <laughs> I'm not having any of that today. Fuck the nope. shit out of my mouth. Slip right back in. <laughs> the, other, the other thing I thought was, because I was in two minds when I first heard the wild card rule, I was like, okay, this could lead to some incredible things, but it's not going to because it's WWE booking. <laughs> and it's just like, it would have been, it would have been fine had they explained it properly, but then it was just such a clusterfuck why not that after, NXT in it? after half hour huh? the opening segment it was half an hour yes and it was that trash is, and it shouldn't be 20 know, minutes it's not half you, a fucking hour you know that Raw is going to be awful when Vince McMahon's been on TV for at least half an hour <laughs> or just it'll just see if he starts the night on Raw Vince McMahon you know, that, for instance is going from here <laughs> Vince McMahon that can't cut a promo he can barely talk the bloke and he's there in a ring for half hour. It's like, and people are bowing to him. Like, fuck off. It's got to stop <laughs> now, isn't it? The, and the only way, the only way it's going to work are people that are wanting him dead. Well, well I mean, the only way the only way it's going to work is if people vote with their feet, and by that they mean don't turn up the fucking house shows. Which reportedly the Monday exactly. running was cancelled because no one fucking bought tickets for it. So the, no, no, they cancelled Monday one because they pulled all the guys from the. It was supposed to be a SmackDown house show, and they pulled six wrestlers from it. And the people went, "Well, that's four of our matches of the six match house show." Yeah. So they went, "Oh, we'll just cancel it." 
<laughs> yeah, the other the other theory I saw on that was um, it was in Kentucky again this week, was it? Yeah, was something it SmackDown like that, or yeah. SmackDown or Raw, um, and apparently they've done like four or five shows in Kentucky in over the past few weeks. So right, obviously, okay. you're not going to go for like multiple shows, are you? Especially mm -hmm. if it's shit. Did you see the video? Did you see there's a photo of SmackDown Live as well, just on the the subject of people turning up. There's a photo oh, of a yeah, SmackDown Live know, where know. like one side is completely empty. That's that's um that's the norm, I think, which is a bit strange. But I think it happens at every show. But it must be really demoralising, because that's the hard cam side. So you're speaking to an empty stand, or well, a couple of people. But I think that's Bad. the norm. Hmm. It's, it doesn't happen, like when I went to the O2, it didn't happen there. Well, they, that, that's because in a different country, that's different. Yeah, that's because people actually will go, but because it's they, a show that you're going to have that's Raw or Smackdown, isn't it? It's very unlikely you're going to have a show on the European tour, and not be sold out. No. 